Why are you opposing the CAA? We opposed the CAA at the time when it was first brought in uh, December 2019 because it is a law which seeks to change the very definition of citizenship in India by linking it to religion and specifically excluding a religious minority from the definition. So this is clearly discriminatory and the very concept of the law which targets a particular community excludes other communities which may also be persecuted indian who are persecuted in neighboring countries for example the tamils of sri lanka what is their wrong doing that even though they have been persecuted historically in sri lanka they have not been included how many tamils there are living in tamil nadu today from sri lanka who are not given the right of citizenship so why should tamils be denied citizenship even though they are equally have rights as original citizens of india then people from other countries so the entire framing of the law itself is not to protect human rights but to protect a particular communal narrow sect terian agenda against minorities by the bjp rss so we are totally opposed to the law now what have they done they've notified the law what is that notification why for 5 years they did not notify it why they are bringing it now because once again they want to polarize indian society the bjp thrives on polarization on division on hate that is the dna of the bjp If there's no hate the BJP cannot grow it grows on hate the fertilizer for the BJP is hate and division so the timing of the notification just 3 days before the election announcement is also suspect and finally we have studied the notification this notification completely excludes state governments from any say in the panel which will decide citizenship of their own state also so this is against the constitution again they have brought railways representatives they have brought postmaster general and post offices etc etc but no state government so for example the tamil nadu state government which is to decide on the panel its invitees will be its representatives will be only invitees and that also too the rest will all be central government nominees so this is totally against the constitution and we are totally against it uh, now the ca has come into the effort so what's your next plan the ca next plan the elections are coming the next plan is to ensure this government is defeated so that we can have a better set of laws which are more equal in india but now many people are uh, uh, supporting caa so uh, how are you going to handle this our position is very clear many state governments like kerala tamil nadu they have already said that but they are deadly against it hindi belt uh, in particularly hindi belt they are supporting caa no, that is not at all true okay. when nitish kumar was in the opposition the bihar government the orissa government all of them had said that they are totally against the caa so there's a large body of opinion after all the anti ca movement was very strong in hindi speaking states so it's not as though that there is a great support sang parivar will support it but it does not mean the ordinary citizens of india support it in any case they want to try and make it into an election issue because they want to run away from the real issues facing the people of india we will meet that challenge we will not be deterred and we will work for the defeat of such a government okay, 